Loopy, AudioBus, and AUM provide a seamless multi-track looping environment. You can record, play, and control up to 12 loops without having to leave AUM's main interface by using the AudioBus floating palette. You are watching an actual, unedited loop session to give you an idea of the seamless workflow. This session uses Loopy's stereo output, but you can have an AUM channel strip for each loop if you would like. In this session, the first loop defines the tempo, but you can sync to other apps, use tap tempo, or manually set the tempo, whatever you prefer. In this video, I show the basics of using this setup. In other videos, I walk you through setting up AudioBus and the AUM mixer, and also how to use the AudioBus palette for those that are new to using AudioBus. In this session, I am using a few instruments. I've set up channels with audio layer for the piano, layer multi-timbral for a pad, I fretless bass, Beathawk AU for the drums. During the session, I'll swipe out layer for a Moog Model 15 since my iPad glitches when both layer and Moog are loaded at the same time. In this session, I am not using a metronome or click. The loop length, or tempo, is determined by my first loop. I call this free looping. You can, of course, set a tempo or sync to another app or host if you would like.
This video only scratched the surface. This session just used Loopy's stereo returns, but you can have a channel strip in AUM for each loop. Loopy, AudioBus, and AUM all provide extensive MIDI control, so you can easily customize the behavior to suit your needs. Loopy is a deep app with a lot of options. You can overdub loops and set up loops for Frippertronic-like fades over time. Loops can be synchronized or unsynchronized, and you are not restricted to recording loops that are multiples of the base loop length. It really is a great system. Have fun!